In this short video, I will discuss the complete technical details of Toktai cyclone in Arabian Sea and its impact on the coastal cities of India and Pakistan. First of all, we need to understand how the weather forecast models work. As we know, the aim of weather forecast models is to show how the weather is most likely to evolve. These models use weather data for the last couple of days and run numerical simulations on a regularly spaced grid nodes to forecast weather parameters such as temperature, humidity, precipitation, wind speed, and direction. It is important to note that uncertainty in the forecast increases as we move further into the future. This means that the forecast for the first week will be more reliable as compared to that for the second week. The two most widely used global weather forecasting models are the Global Forecast System GFS, operated by the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, a US government funded organization. This model has a grid resolution of 13 km and its data is freely available. The other model is European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts ECMWF, operated by an organization of the same name. It is funded by 34 European countries and has a higher resolution of 9 km. But only a small handful of parameters at a very low resolution are freely available as per the World Meteorological Organization essentials. Now let's see the forecast of the cyclone on 14th May. According to the GFS model, this would be the track of the cyclone. As we can see, the cyclone will pass over Karachi on 20th May. On the other hand, according to the ECMWF forecast, the track of the cyclone from 14th to 16th May matches that of the GFS track, but from then onwards it follows a different path, where it will pass over the Indian state of Gujarat. As it has been mentioned that the forecast changes as more data comes in, so after two days, on 16th May, the ECMWF forecast has slightly changed while the GFS forecast track has come closer to the ECMWF track. As we can see, now both the models are forecasting that the cyclone will not pass our Karachi. Now let's see the forecasted parameters on 18th May 4 pm when the cyclone will be closest to Karachi. As we can see, the wind speed will be 8 nautical miles, while the wind gust speed will be 20 nautical miles and the temperature will be 33 degrees centigrade and there will be no rain but it will be 65% cloudy and the ocean tides will have a period of 9 seconds. It is important to note that the cyclone wind speed is greater than 40 nautical miles but as it enters over the Indian state of Gujarat the wind speed will reduce to below 40 nautical miles. There will be winds and rain, but we hope that everything will be in safer limits.